Hello everyone, this is Apoorva Pandita and I welcome you all to Live Law. The Supreme Court of India today has taken a decisive step towards curbing hate speech in Indian politics. Without any delay, let's dive into the details. So in a recent development, the Supreme Court of India today issued a notice on a petition filed by CPI leader Brinda Karat. She is a leader of Communist Party of India Marxist. The Supreme Court's decision came in response to a complaint against two politicians, namely Anurag Thakur and Parvesh Verma, for making inflammatory speeches during the Delhi Assembly elections in 2020. Brinda Karat had sought the registration of FIR against these BJP leaders, namely Anurag Thakur and Parvesh Verma, for allegedly delivering hate speeches in 2020. Anurag Thakur's speech containing the words Desh ke gaddaron ko or we can say the traitors of the country was seen as inciting violence against anti-CAA protesters. Similarly, Parvesh Verma's speech was also accused of spreading hate and violence. For a quick background, Brinda Karat had sought for registration of FIRs against these two BJP leaders but the trial court had rejected her plea. In this regard, the Supreme Court today also observed that prima facie, the magistrate's stand that sanction is required to register an FIR appears to be incorrect. Now coming back to the sequence of events, after the trial court had rejected Brinda's plea, she had reached Delhi High Court and the Delhi High Court eventually dismissed it. Now when finally the matter reached Supreme Court, a bench comprising Justices K.M. Joseph and B.V. Nagaratna was hearing it. So what exactly does the petition state? The plea alleges that the speech threatened the use of force to remove protesters who were protesting at Shaheen Bab in the wake of Citizenship Amendment Act, that is CAA, and to promote hatred and enmity against Muslim persons by portraying them as invaders who will enter houses and rape and kill people. So what happened in the Supreme Court today? As we all know that Section 153A of the Indian Penal Code deals with the offence of promoting disharmony, enmity or feelings of hatred between different groups on the grounds of religion, race, place of birth, residence, language, etc. and doing acts prejudicial to maintenance of harmony. For additional information, we also know that in cases of conviction under Section 153A of IPC, that person shall also be disqualified under the Representation of Peoples Act. Now coming back to what happened in the Supreme Court today, well with regard to this section, that is Section 153A of IPC, the judges asked as to how Section 153A, which requires two classes, was attracted in this particular case. Then the petitioner's advocate argued that the statement was made in the context of CAA and the underlying context was religious segregation. He further argued that even if the statement did not fall under the category of communal statement, it would be a political one. When the court asked whether other offences under Indian Penal Code would be attracted other than Section 153A, the petitioner's counsel, that is senior advocate Siddharth Agarwal responded, that the offence of abatement under Section 107 of IPC would be attracted in such a case. However, the important thing is that the significance of this case lies in the recognition of the danger of hate speech in politics and the need for responsible political discourse. The outcomes of this directive will depend on how effectively it is implemented and how well it is received by politicians and the public. And that brings us to the end of this video. We really hope that you like our content and if you do then do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel and for more legal updates keep watching Live Law.